J R U N D I S L E V Gurusa. Hey guys, it's me, Better Gaming World, and welcome to Case Four of Ben Jordan, a paranormal investigator. So, um, this is the four case, and as you saw, on like the the original three of Case One, Two, and Three, this game is not made by Monkey Games anymore. It's created by Francisco Gonzalez Productions. So that's kind of different also this game did a little bit of upgrade on the on some of the mechanics of the game which we will see now so right now let me play the intro so I can show you as you see there's a new um, mouse London England office of principal Quentin Jones 5:45 p.m. so it takes takes place after case 3 ah mr. Jordan you arrive at last. Please come in and take a seat. Thanks, Professor Jones. Please, call me Percival. I must apologize for my rudeness back in Smellholm, Mr. Jordan. You must understand that I had never been one to believe in the paranormal. I understand completely. It's extremely difficult to be taken seriously in this line of work. I'm just glad you decided to give me a chance. Yes, well, although you feel it's illegitimately accepted, I have to admit, I was impressed with your detective skills. Now then, according to Scotland Yard, you provided all information on the small home case. We can finally put that bad business behind us. I trust you've been enjoying your stay in London. Yeah, it's a really nice place. I haven't been able to take it as many sights as I liked, liked, but odd. I was expecting any visitors. Come in. Good day. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm looking for uh, Mr. Jordan, ben, Mr. Ben Jordan. That's me, sir. Ah, oh, good. I was told I might find you here. May I ask who you are and what business you have with Mr. Jordan? Oh, of course, how rude of me. My name is Randolph Miggs. I own a rare and antique bookshop at number 50 Berkeley Square. Berkeley Square. I come and seek an assistance on Mr. Jordan as we had a recent problem with paranormal activities. Well, that's what I'm here for. Let me guess. Goes right? Well, yes, but you see, it's not just your garden bar bar variety ghost. Our building has a bit of a sinister history behind it, which is sets it apart from other haunted places. Oh, do tell. There have been many versions told throughout the years, but the most famous tale happened on a cold, foggy night back in 1843. Francisco Gonzalez presents Ben Jordan, paranormal investigator in <clears throat> Case 4, Horror at Number 50 Oh, my feet are killing me. We need to find a place to rest or I'm likely to drop dead where I stand. Damn this fog, I cannot see a thing. London, not what it used to be. I can tell you why when I was a young man. Now, not the time for your stories. We need to find some place to bed down for the night. Any ideas? This place looks as good as any look. They even have a two let sign. I found a door. All we need to do is to find a way in. The window down here looks like it's been left open. Come over here and give me a hand with it. I 
I searched the entire house. Our doors are locked. Well, let's just leave this one then. It's unlocked. Good. I'm absolutely checked. Well, this room will do. There ain't any baths, but I slept on worse surface than stone floors. That was absolute murder on me back, but I suppose it's all we got is better than the streets. But did you just hear something? Did you just hear something? I didn't hear anything. It's quite as grave in this place. Listen, it sounds like someone's coming up the stairs. But I thought this place was deserted. I thought so too, but... It sounds like someone's outside the door. What in God's name is that? Oh, gruesome. <laughs> the next morning, a police officer found the dead sailor impaled on the front gate. Upon entering, he found the other sailor hard in a, in a corner. He had gone completely mad and died a few days later. Ooh. But what was it they saw? No one knows for certain. Everyone has always just referred it as the horror. So this horror have been giving you trouble and you want to take a look around the house? Yes, something like that. Will you take the case? Sure, that's not right up my alley. Excellent. I shall arrange for a taxi to collect you and take you to the number 50 tomorrow afternoon. I look forward to seeing you there. Now, if you shall excuse me, I have some things to attend to. Good day. Goodbye, Mr. Meggs. Good day to you, Mr. Meggs. So I suppose you're actually going to investigate this so-called horror. Sure. I don't see why not. Are you sure this Meggs fellow can be trusted? I know that all seem like a bunch of nonsense to you, Professor Jones, but I'm my line of work. You had to take leaps of faith. Very well, I wish you luck. You have my mobile number, my mobile phone number, correct? Yes, I wrote it down here somewhere. Do not hesitate to contact me if you need anything. I won't. By the way, do you think you can do me a favor? I have a few items with me that are valuable, so I don't want to take them with me to the house. Could I leave them with you? Of course, Mr. Jordan. I should make sure your valuables are kept safe. Well then, I guess I'll better go get some rest. I've got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. Good evening, Mr. Jordan. Oh, and do be careful. Okay. The following afternoon. So, this is the infamous number 50. Doesn't look too scary to me. This case should be easy for once. Hello, are you Miggs? No, my name is Ben Jordan, but I'm waiting for Mr. Miggs too. Pleasure to meet you, Ben. I'm Simon Booth. May I ask you what your business you have with Mr. Miggs? I'm a paranormal investigator. He contacted me because he said there's been some ghost-like activity in this house recently. Why, that old devil. Pardon me? Mr. May contacted me for that very reason. I only just spoke to him over the telephone yesterday. You see, I'm a ghost hunter. The stories at, of number 50 have interested me for quite some time, but there have been no activity for years. So naturally, I jump at the chance with Mix ran me for this case. Well then, I guess we'll be working together. Funny, I wonder why Mig didn't just tell us that he was hiring more than one person. Ah, Mr. Jordan, Mr. Booth, I'm glad you arrived. Please do come in. 
Out to you. Now then, I'd like to thank you all for showing up. Although I must apologize for not mentioning that I called more than one person earlier. You see, I searched for a paranormal investigator where unique talent, each one valuable to the case at hand. I shall not introduce everyone. Please tell us all something about yourself when I call your name. First, we have Miss Alice Winking from Sacramento, California, USA. Um, hi, I'm a student at Harvard when I major in parapsychology. I contacted Mr. Biggs when I heard the story at number 50 and he asked me if I would be interested in investigating it, and here I am. Thank you, Miss Wickens. Now we have moved on to Mr. Simon Boo from Bullingham, England. Well, I'm a professional ghost hunter. I believe in using technological devices to help detect ghosts, things like infrared goggles and the like. I never actually seen conclusive proof of ghosts, but I've stumbled across some promising leads. Now we have Madame Till request from right here in London. Thank you, Mr. Mix. I'm the one of the few in this world who gifted with second sight, known as True Seer. I have over 50 years of experience speaking with the dead, and hope to make some contact in this house. I already feel tremendous amounts of psychic energy emanating from his walls. From Moynihan, Germany, we have Mr. Otto Schuck Snyder. Hello. Could you tell us a bit about yourself? Not really, no. I don't like talking about myself. Very well, finally we have Mr. Ben Jordan from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Please tell us about yourself. Okay. Talk about this. Well, hi, I'm Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. I haven't been working at one very long, but I solved three cases so far. I investigated the Skunk Cape in the Florida Everglades, the Log Galley on the Salton Lake in California, and a Dark Witch Coat in Melham, Scotland. And now, here I am, hoping to add to my case list. Well then, now that you all know who everyone is, it's time I took my leave. You'll find a room upstairs where I have been prepared for your comfort. I have left instructions on how to contact me, should the need arise in each of your rooms. Good luck and farewell. So now what? Well, I don't know about you, dear girl, but I'm absolutely exhausted. I'll be having a nap in my room. I too will be going to my room. These two certainly are eager, aren't they? I'm going to start exploring the place. Either of you, about, either of you up for joining me? I think I passed for now. I think I got jet lag and the idea of a quick nap sounds better and better. Fair enough. What about you, Ben? You go on ahead, Simon. I'll couch up. Right then, let's get the this mess again started. So the way that this story is going, it reminds me a little bit of those like horror films. Where it's five people who like, for example, one is a psychic, one is that, go to a horror film, you know, to go to a haunted house, and then, it might be one of those type of movies. Anyway, as you can see, Ben Jordan has a jacket now, and his pants are all brown instead of green. Also, the, in also the, this had changed, remember it was green, and it was very different, so this one is, looks the same as the deluxe version of case one and two and this was created back in 2005 so that was one year after the three games 
Okay. And that's the phone number of the old man. Um, also, one thing about this game is that this will be the last time we see Ben join portrait like that. After that, they're going to change it to the one that we see later on. We see in the deluxe version of 1 and 2. So it will be the last time we see the portrait of him like that and that artwork. Anyway, let's look around. This is the front door. It's a window covered in thick layer of filth that prevents you from seeking through it. Shell contains book and ancient history. The shell have books of farming and veterinary care. A title catches your eye. Keep your sheep in ship shade by Berrien Williams. The shell contains books on travel. The shell contains self-help books. The, sh the shell has several har Harlequin romance novels. The shell contains encyclopedia set from the 18... Thousands. The shelf have adventure books. A title catches your eye. The cup that started an empire by C. Jones. The shelf contains books of the paranormal. Oddly enough, none of the title seems very interesting. The shelf contains book of art. The shelf contains the music. A title catches your eye. Pentonic Perils by A. Slotty. Oh, that's that's a reference to um. The person who make the music. Oh, so this is like an Easter egg. This is the people who work on the game. For example, this one is Chris Jones, one of the creators of this game, along with Rodrigo Gonzalez, obviously. A saw the music, food and cooking, popular fiction, Marxy Denaliski. I don't know who that is. Anyway, let's. Grab. Odd. The book will come up to the shelf. Oh well. Yeah, no interest in any of those books. Yeah, no interest. Oh, we can touch the books. You pull the book off the shelf and flip through it. Interesting, but now you got this damn tune stuck in your head. You have no interest in any of those books. You pull off the shelf and flip through it. There's a exciting book, but you lose interest in around the part of a global. Glo global is and strings. Okay, that's the one that I read. Okay. You put out the book in the shelf. Oh, look, it's illustrated. That's disgusting. You quickly put the book back in the shelf. Okay, what about the window? The window seems to be stuck shut. It won't open. No, you're not leaving until you figure out what's going on. The rug. A large rug covers the floor. Can I touch it? You see no reason to look under the rug at the moment. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Once a several lamps dialing lights the upstairs hallway. There's barely enough light in here already without you messing around with the lamps. It's the door to Otto's room. The door leads to the room currently occupied by Madame Tilly. Okay, let's go to Otto. A word from inside says, Come in. Ah, Mr. Jordan, how may I help you? Okay, let's look around. Otto's suitcase is full of jeans and t-shirt. It makes you feel better about wearing the same outfit three case in a row. If this room is anything like yours, the door goes into the bathroom. The books are piled on the decks. The titles are in German, so you, can under you can't understand them. The green window lets no light in, making it impossible to tell if it's night or day. Otto's bed is neatly made. You get the feeling he doesn't use it much. Otto Schneider has an air of mystery about him, but he seems approachable. Otto has brought his laptop along, but by the look of it, he relies heavily on searching through paranormal forums on the internet. A tiny lights the room relatively well. Large that, how come your room hasn't got one of those? 
Let's touch. It's not polite to go around touching other people's things. You had your own room. You had your own bathroom. Don't be rude. <laughs> it's not polite to go around touching other people's things. It would look very odd if you started searching through the drawers with auto sitting right there. Don't touch the lamp. Auto got control over the lights in here. Not you. It's not. Uh, it's not on the other window in this house. Open. What makes you think this one will? That will be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I like the freaking jokes in this game. That will be awkward. I love it. I love it. That's a good thing they put that those jokes there. You feel the same as you did yesterday. Ben Jordan, probably not invested in the nice new clothes you got there. You really better not. It's not polite to go around touching other people's things. Okay, let's talk to him. So, how is it going, Otto? I'm afraid I have no time for small time with Jordan. I'm very busy researching the case. Unless there was something specific you wanted to talk about. Okay, let's ask him a question. Would you mind if we talk about some things? Not at all. Tell me about yourself. As I said earlier, I don't like talking about myself. If the situation arises from some personal detail needs to be divulged, then I will glad to comply. However, right now my life is not related to the investigation. No, I tried to do the German accent, but I can't. What's your impression of the other investigators? I do not speak about people when they're not in my presence, but I would say that Mr. Mix has chosen a fascinating group of people. I think the investigation would benefit for having such an electric bunch working on it. Why are you researching exactly? Currently, I'm trying to collect as much outside information as I can on this house. There's so many conflicting reports of paranormal activities here over the years. I want to be sure I read them all. You're very thorough. I feel one has known the enemy before going to the battle. It makes it easier to identify their weakness. You make a great general. That's quite amusing, Mr. Jordan. I'll let you get back to your work. All right. Okay, so we're done. We can leave here, but we probably we have to come back later. Okay, that's Madame's. She's probably sleeping. That's Simon's room, and Simon's not in his room. Yeah, he's probably investigating the house. Okay. Oh, so that's Benjamin's room. That's Alice's room. Let's just check Alice. I think she's also taking a nap too. Let's go to the room. Okay, let's look around. The wind is covered in thick layer of grime, preventing you from seeing out any life coming from it. You had no desire to open the window. Okay. Man, what is this painting in here? This one sure gives you nightmares. You consider taking down the paint, but rather not touch it. Your bed looks pretty comfortable. A small lamp sits in the nightstand and it helps put it in the room. The lamp and the main source of light in, in the room. A small nightstand rests against the wall next to your bed. The broom goes into your own private bathroom. Okay, let's look around. You can't reach the lamp. You prefer to leave the lamp off for now. The idea of the room being any darker gives you a creep. You look inside the nightstand drawer. You find a small piece of paper with some handwriting on it, which you take. Okay, progress. And as you can see, it's more shorter than the third case. It's 107 instead of 144 that was last time. Okay, we're in the bathroom. The bathtub appears to have been cleaned recently as there is no sign of a ring. A raw toilet paper hangs on the wall next to the toilet. That would 
That would be a toilet. You spent many times an hour on it, pondering life's great truths. It's just a regular sink. There's a little switch on the wall. You look into the mirror and see your flesh is staring back at you. Hey, is there a zit? Oh, it's two ply softness. You don't have to go right now. When the idea of a warm bath sounds appealing, you got a case to worry about. You had this thing about turning up bathroom light ever since that party in the sixth grade where your friends play Bloody Mary so you leave it alone. <laughs> the mirror is cool to touch but not not if you left a single print print on it. Okay, let me check the paper that I got. The paper said Migs zero two seven four two six four eight zero zero. Okay, so I can call them. Okay, so since I had to freaking not good remembering numbers, I have to run it down. So I'm gonna run it down, and I'm probably gonna get my phone because my phone will help me to do this. So give me a sec, give me a second, guys. Let me get my phone to write it down. Okay, got it. Here's my phone. So I'm gonna open the uh, the notebook on my phone. You know, the one where you have to write the files and stuff. So I'm gonna write it here. My notes, so when I need to open them, I can freaking okay, okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, let's do this. No, just regular, please. Thank you. So let me check this. Okay, so that's Percy. So I'm gonna put P. Percy, and I'll put a number, 020-4469, and 0976. Okay, that's one. I might get more phone numbers later on in the game, because I have a cell phone here. Because that's Migs. Migs. Oh my god, this. Migs. The same, the same thing. Zero two, zero seven four two eight and four eight zero zero. Okay, got them. So I'm gonna try to pick up the phone. Your brand new cellular phone. This kid doesn't pay so bad at all. Let me call somebody. Let me call Percy, the old man. I got zero two. Zero, four, four, six, nine. No, damn. So you have to like guess that's not a valid number. So I have to write it very fast. Damn, I did not know you had to do write it fast. There we go. You reached the office of Principal Creed Jones. How may I help you? Professor Jones, it's Ben Jordan. Ah, yeah, Mr. Jordan, I trust your investigation is going well. Well, now, if I guess, listen, I was wondering if we could talk about some thing, some stuff. Certainly, what can I can do for you? Why have you been up? Why have you been since I came to the house? Filling out paperwork, mainly. I have been preparing the lesson of a proper crime scene investigating for my class. I hope you don't mind citing you as an example in the smell home case. No, that would be fine, as long as it isn't, isn't a negative example, of course. Oh, no need to worry about that. As I said, your technique was quite impressive. Well, thanks. I was wondering, since I haven't got anything into the assets or anything in here, can you do some research for me? I'm so what busy, but I'm certain I can make some time. What would you like me to research? Can you see what you can find about the history of number 50? 
I get the feeling that knowing more about this play will be beneficial to the investigation. Very well, I'll see what I can find and ring you if I discover anything per pertinent. Thanks, Professor. I appreciate it. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. Alright, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ring me again. Goodbye. Okay, so now let's try the other one. This is cool. Okay. Zero, two, zero, seven, four, two, eight, four, eight, zero, zero. Hello? Hello, Mr. Mix, it's Ben Jordan. Ben Johnny, how love to hear from you. How's the mystery getting going? Well, actually, I want to ask you a few questions. Alright, ask away. We didn't get much of a chance early to talk about you. Why can you tell me about yourself? I've been in antique book business for well over 50 years. It's a family business, you see. The Mix family have passed down shop for several generations. Uh, aside from that, I can't really think of anything about myself that could possibly, possibly interest you. Tell me about this house. My family purchased it in 1925. We had our antique bookstore here over, over ever since. As far as um, history is concerned, however, I'm afraid I can't be much of help. You see, I grew up hearing the story, but there was never any actual paranormal activity until recently. You weren't quite clear on what exactly the paranormal activity was. Was it? Oh dear, I must apologize. The issue to be rid of the phenomenon must have made me forget. About a week ago, I was in the storeroom behind the traveling room, cleaning out some old boxes. Suddenly, I heard what I thought were footsteps above me, which would be the room on the fourth floor. I assume it's what the old pipe was the house setting, since I was all alone all the time. But then, suddenly, I got very chilly in the room, and I saw a dark figure entering the room through the wall. It started me, then floated through the wall, through the wall. I don't need to tell you, I was out of the house so quickly I dropped my best scissors somewhere and didn't bother going back to search for them. Okay, so once when I go to that room I might find the scissors. Just as I check in and let you know the investigation is going pretty well. I'm glad to hear it, Ben. Just a curiosity, have any of the other contacts you yet? No, you're the first. That's what I want to know. Goodbye, Mr. Mix. Goodbye, Ben. Okay, so I call them. That's good. So let's bring them around, shall we? Let's go up to see what's this area, this house, this building, actually. The building, not a house. So it has four floors. What a creepy painting here. It's a self portrait of Francis Bacon. You don't really want that the painting. The brass plate about the door reads travel room. A parallel large double door going into the next room. Hmm. Ooh, nice. The third of May shootings by Goya. What they hire at their interior decorator, Marcus de said. You can't reach the painting. One pair of couches provided a place to relax and enjoy the room, and perhaps the book. Bookshelf with a light reading material, presumably for the purpose of being read in this room. Except the same thing. You're being paid to investigate a hunting, not to curl up by the fire with a book and some milky tea. <laughs> A large decorated fireplace takes up most of the back wall. 
The three ornate mirrors sit over the fireplace. The mirrors are too high for you to reach, which is probably intentional. The stone pipe that feels cold to the touch. You, get, you haven't got time to lounge around right now. So door. Another door probably leads to a storeroom or something. Okay, let's go. Ooh, now this one's kind of creepy. Nice moonlight light they got in here. A cardboard box probably full of more books. Several books couldn't stay on the shelf currently occupying the floor. Several books. A giant bookshelf which by the looks of it is used to store all older or more obscure tombs. You look inside the box and find a bunch of old books. There's also a pair of old scissors which is in it which you take. So if we found the scissors, that's good. You look through the titles of the following book but nothing nothing of particular interest. The books are all from before the 18th century. You had no interest in browsing them. You better not interfere with the lamp. Okay, so I got some scissors. Nice. So, not that much I can do here. Can I... Get out? Okay. Let's see if there's something in the corner. Something here? Nope. Let's see on the other side. Nope. I guess we have to go through the door. Ooh. It's a good thing they got these slabs in here, otherwise you might fall down the stairs and break your neck. Okay. Another door waits you in the patch at the top of the stairs. This is kind of creepy. Whatcha, Ben? Decided to have a look around? Yes, this place is something else, huh? You can say that homemade really got us a good one this time. More decorated lamps dimly light the room. That's Simon Booth, Ghost Hunter. He seems like an okay guy. A small bell is attached to the wall. A small rope extends into the wall. There might be a way to ring it from the inside. Don't touch them. The bell feels cold to the touch. Okay, let's talk to this guy. How's it going, Simon? I can't complain. Hey, Simon, can I ask you a few questions? Of course, Ben. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself. I'm asking for being friends, Ben, but right now I'm trying to figure out how to get into this room. We can chat later. I'm planning on calling themselves a meeting tonight anyway. Oh, alright. What do you think of the other investigators? They seem an interesting lot. It would be refreshing to work with such a diverse of group of people. What's your impression of Alice? She seems like a nice girl and she's not too bad to look at either. I have my doubts about her experience, but we had to wait to see how she performs if we encounter any paranormal activity here. Okay. What should take on Madame Tilly? She's awfully dramatic, I can tell you that straight away. I'm not the one to rush judgment on people, but I was never much into the psychic stuff. She thinks she can talk to Dad, and that's fine for her. It'll come useful if we meet any ghost. What do you think of Otto? To be honest, I have no idea. He definitely is a strong, silent type throughout. Hopefully, he warm up to the, long the longer we're here. 
we're supposed to be working together and if he does his own thing we may not get optimal results what's with this door this is the door Ben the door yeah the one into the room where it all happened I'm dying to get in there and have a look around, but as you can see, oh, should I skip that? I don't got any tool to break the over open the padlocks. I don't suppose you do. I'm afraid not. Well, do me a favor. If you find come across anything that might help us get into the room, let me know. We'll do. That's all I wanted to know. All right. Okay, let's use the scissors. Cause I think the scissors might help. Let's seem to work. You try to pick the lock with the scissors, but find it impossible. Almost has fit. Wait, what the hell I did? What did that hap happen? You seem to with the scissors, but you can't. You find it impossible. Almost as if the lock doesn't want to be picked. You don't think that offer would be appreciated? Psst. Okay, so I cannot open the door. Looks like it. You feel the same as you did yesterday. You won't be able to get through the door as there there as long as that padlock's on it. Let me look at the padlock. A large padlock has placed on the door to keep intruders out or whatever behind the door. Okay, so I can't do much here, so let me get out, leave. So, okay, let's knock on the door. Okay. Let's talk to Otto, maybe. Say, Otto, you wouldn't happen to have any tools or anything that I could pick locks, would you? No, I'm afraid I don't. What do you need to pick a lock? Simon and I are trying to get into the room at, on the fourth floor. I see. Well, I'm afraid I cannot help you, however. I suggest contacting someone who knows more about the house than we do. Okay, so Megs. I'll let you get back to work. Alright. Okay, so let me call Megs, because probably Megs might know something. So, might as well call him. Oh, let me get the... No, 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 not that. Hello? Okay, let's call Megs. So, can I do them with my keyboard? No, I can't do it with my keyboard. Okay. There we go. Hello? I wanted to ask you about the door on the top floor. Ah yes, the one into the infamous room. Simon so and I were trying to get into it, but it, it's got a large padlock on it. Yeah, that's right. Indeed, the door had been locked as long as I can remember. I called a locksmith several times, but no one had ever been able to pick the lock. I heard rumors about that key to the lock within the house, but I never bothered searching it. Searching. Is that right? Do you have any idea where it could be? Not for certain, but I do remember hearing a story about a man who would come to the house, unlock the door, and spend time in the room. Supposedly he never took the key with him, but placed it somewhere special in the house. 
Of course, most of the rooms the house have been remodeled over the years, so it couldn't be anywhere if it exists at all. Are there any rooms that haven't been remodeled? Aside from the lobby, the stairwell to the top floor, and the storage room behind the travel room? No. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for the information. That's all I want. Okay, so the lobby, which is down here. Check the rug, Ben Jordan. Wait, did I found something? What book? It's the key to the heart by Pat Lock. I should do a fake book with a small lock on it. You shake the book and hear something readily inside. Ooh, does that mean that they combine it? Using the sharp point of the of the scissor, you manage to pick the lock of the book. Inside you find an old rusty key. Yay, I found the key! It's a rusty old key. So I found the key. Of the, I found the key of the room. Nice. Okay, now we can go open the door. Okay, boom, padlock. Simon, look, I found the key to the padlock. Amazing, Ben, where did you find it? It was hidden inside of an old book in the lobby. Brilliant, well, don't just stand there, open the door. While well, trembling hand, you stick the key in the lock and begin to turn it. Then suddenly, What was that? It sounds like a woman screaming from downstairs. Let's go see what's going on. What about the door? We can come back to it later. Something might be in trouble. You're right, let's go. Uh oh, something happened to the ladies. Hello, hello. What's all the shouting? We had no trouble here. We had no trouble here. You may think it's time for joke, Mr. Boo, but I just had the most dreadful nightmare. Relax, Madame Rooks and Chris. Please tell us about it. Well, I was in a large empty room. It seemed to be a room in this house. Yet I found odd that there was no furniture anywhere. Then I noticed there was no doors or window anywhere, which cornered me because I had no way of escaping. Suddenly, a dark figure came through into the wall, and I had the ship of a man, but it was very tall and it looked straight at me when I saw his horrid face. It gave me a cheer just remembering the burning red eyes and no facial feature to speak of. It's the most terrible sight. But then, the spectre came at me without a stretching arm and hands me almost claw like, and just as it was about to grab my neck it and choke me, I awoke screaming. That sounds awful. Are you feeling alright now? Yes, dear girl. Thank you for your concern. However, I feel the nightmare was a sign. There's an evil spirit looking in this house, and it's not at all pleased with us staying. Well, until it appears and tries to do me in, I'm going to keep having a look around. I would advise against that, Mr. Booth. I've seen tragedy befalling you if you stray too far from the rest. Oh, come on. Oh, scuff if you will, Mr. Booth. I'm rarely communicating with the spirits. Tell me. Ahem, <laughs> if you don't mind, I think now we make we more or less settle in, we should discuss our plans. Uh, yes. Ben just reminded me I was going to call a meeting in the evening so we can do just that. That sounds like a good idea. What time should we, should we meet? 
How about in say an hour time? That gave us all chances to freshen up before starting the dirty work. Very well. Okay then, we meet up in an hour in the travel room. I'll see you all there. Come in. Oh, hi, Ben. Hey there, Alice. Alice Wickens, fellow paranormal investigator. She's not a bad looking young lady. You don't think that offer would be appreciated? Are you doing alright? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. We got we got all uh, got to watch out for each other. There's no telling what could happen in this house. That part of what makes this case so in exciting. Okay. A door to Alice's bathroom. The door to Alice's closet. Another yet gloomy window. That's Alice's bed. Looks bigger and more comfortable than yours. Don't bother. It won't open. I'm sh yes, I'm sure jumping to Alice's bed will make a wonderful impression <laughs> on her. It won't be polite to go in there without Alice's permission. You won't feel right looking through Alice's closet. Swinging from land just isn't your thing. A large land you think you want this one. Okay, let's ask good questions. Alice, can we talk? Yes, Ben, what's up? Tell me about yourself. I don't really think that's a big much interesting information about me aside from what I already said. I'm from Sacramento and I major parapsychology at Harvard, that's about it. I'm sure there's more than just that. Well, I like music. My favorite band is Zip Lip Zip Zeppelin. No kidding. I love Zep. Got all their albums? Of course. What's your favorite song? Kashmir. What about yours? That's a great one, but I'm more a fan of Dazzled and Confused. Oh yeah? That's another favorite of mine. Boy, I'm glad that someone here has something in common with. Yeah, I know what you mean. What do you think of our fellow investigators? In general or specifically? Both, I guess. In general, they seem like a group group. But I can't really tell yet since we've been here such a short while. What do you think of Simon? I like him. He's like a really cool guy. And his ass is really cute too. What about the American girl thinking that English has just like cute? What is it about? They are. It's different. I don't know. Right. What? Well, how about Otto? Any thoughts on him? I don't know. He doesn't seem like a very talkative, talkative person. He's very polite and nice, but he just doesn't even want to get to know anyone. It's a shame, really. What's your opinion on Madame Tilly? She seems nice, but... But what? Well, don't tell anyone I said that, but the, she kind of freaks me out a little bit. I mean, I don't really believe in psychics, but the whole concept of being able to foresee people dying and stuff, it's just scary. As long as she doesn't ask to read my palm or anything, there shouldn't be any problem. Are you scared of what your future might hold? That kind's of a personal question, Ben. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright, we can talk about something else, pl something else please. What you made of a nightmare Madame Till says she had? The par parapsychic logic explanation would be that the paranormal energy in the house had manifested themselves in Madame Till's subconscious. But I was taking a nap too and I didn't have any nightmares. Normally, if a ghost decides to make itself present in dreams, it affects anyone in the immediate area. But then there's a lot of factors to consider that like the person's 
some susceptibility to paranormal phenomena and things like that. Sorry if I'm butchering some words, it's just some words are very hard to pronounce. How about the room that she said she was in? Do you think there's a hidden room in this house? I'm not sure. She said there was no furniture, no doors or windows. The room on top of the floor has a window and a door, so if she did see a room in this house, it must be someplace else. Interesting. That's all for now. Okay. Yeah, sorry if I'm butchering some words. It's just some words are so hard to pronounce. So, bear with me. So let's go to that man tail. Let's see how she's doing. There's no reason. Oh, she's not responding. Let's go to Otto then. Would you mind if we talk about something at all? We think about Madame Tilly's nightmare. Not quite sure what to make of it. The figure she described was consistent with a physical description given to the recorded case of the hauntings here. However, whatever or not she experienced a natural vision or just had a bad dream, I cannot say. Do you really think she's psychic? Again, I cannot make conclusion until I see more evidence. I'll let you get back to your work. Okay. So, okay. Okay, let's call, um, the old man. Yeah. Let's call, um, the police officer to give us some information about the house. Or, I should do it later. I think I should do it later. Because I don't have, there's nothing much I did in this place. Okay, let's go to Simon to see what he's doing. I know he's want to check the room. Okay. Oh, he said something. What's the matter, Simon? The bloody key has gone missing. What? It was the lock where we left this room. It's now, it's now banished. The key is gone? Maybe somebody took it. I was behind you when we left. Everyone was downstairs when I got there. I was the first one back in here. It wasn't any of the five of us. Damn it, we were so close too. Relax, Simon. I'm sure the key is around here somewhere. As far as I know, ghosts can't pick things up. You should read out a bit more of a ghost band. Anyway, I'm off to have a shower. I'll see you this evening. This evening. So the key is gone. The bare hands. Okay, I think we can call the old man. Okay, here we go. Wait, hold up. I need to touch it. Okay, here we go. Let me look up. Let me pop on my thing. So let's call Percy. Okay, not him, so he uh, there's nothing I can do. Okay, let's call Megs then. Okay, so nothing I can do here. Never mind.
Okay. Let me look around. Well, maybe she'll go to my room. Who knows? Yeah, because he's taking a shower. I know he's gonna be in the shower. <laughs> Knock on the door while he's taking a shower. Nice. I'll go to my room. Do not have desire to sleep at a moment like this. Wash your hands. Okay. Nothing I can do here then. Okay. Go down the stairs, shall we? The lobby. Where we found the uh, big book. Guess not. Okay. Guess nothing I can do here then. Oh, he. Oh, shit. I rolled up the thing. I didn't read it. Damn. Sorry about that, guys. Ah, the old trap under the rug trick. The chat door is locked. It looks like it hasn't been open for years. Can I use the scissors for this? Well, it worked once before. No harm in trying it again. You pick, you you try to pick in the lock with the scissors, but find the tip way too big to fit on the lock. Okay, let's tell everybody. Let's tell everybody that we found. A padlock on the lock. What? Well, we have to call the old man. Probably I have to call the old man. Here we go again with the old man. We had to call Mix because he didn't tell us about the freaking that door. Okay, zero two. I really wish they added the function of this in a keyboard because the keyboard would have been much easier to put the number in. It's kind of hard doing with the mouse. Hello, Mr. Mix. Were you aware that there's a trap door under the rug in the lobby? My word, I had no idea! For years I wondered about the house basement and how to get down there, but I never thought to look look under the rug. Well, the trap door is locked anyway, so I don't know how I'm going to get down there. I'm sure you'll find a way. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. So, let's talk to Alice then. You haven't been by any chance been upstairs, have you? 
No, I haven't left my room. I said to go out into the hall. Why? The door on the top floor leading into the room with the horror was supposed to be seen, but it's locked. Tommy and I were trying to get in, and I found a key as we go around to open it. Madame Tilt screamed. And now it seems the key disappeared. Dis disappeared? Are you sure someone didn't just take it? Simon was the last one out and the first into the room, and he said he didn't touch it. That's strange. Maybe whatever haunt this house is some kind of prankster. There's nothing better than a playful ghost. That's all for now. And then guys, just then you hear what sounds like a muffled yell. Do you hear that? Yes, yeah, it's like it came from Simon's room. Stay here. I'll go see if he's okay. Oh no, Simon. Mr. Jordan, did you hear a jail too? Yeah, I think it was Simon. I was just about to check if he was okay. If you're here or need assistance, please let me know. Okay, thanks, Otto. Okay, so I gotta save the game because I haven't saved for a while. Can I save the game? Can I save the game? Okay, for some reason the game is not letting me to save the game. Okay, thank you. So I put BGW, my name, and save. And I gotta take a little break, guys. It's been an hour and six minutes. So I'll take a little bit of break and I'll be right back. And I'm back, so let's check on Simon, shall we? Let's go check on Simon. Fearing that Simon may be in trouble, decided to enter the room without knocking. Whoa, blood! Simon bad, it had got any sheets on it. For a second you think you see something out the side of the window, but you quickly like it's just your reflection in the grime. Simon gets a dresser? How come you can't get a dresser? Uh oh, this is not a good sign at all. Oh shit. You better not touch the blood. Going to Simon's drawer will be a very polite thing to do. You like Simon, but that's going just a bit far. It won't budge. Oh no, is he dead? You prepare yourself for the worst and enter Simon's bathroom. <laughs> Simon, what's going on in here? Bloody hell, man, you're scaring me half to death. I'm sorry, but I have knocked, but I heard you yelling, and I thought you might be in trouble. It's alright, I sometimes to get a towel for my dresser so as not by stalkers, anyone come to check out what's going on. So what happened? Strangest thing, I was in the middle of my shower when all of a sudden the water turned red, turned to blood. That's about the time I yelled and jumped out. That's starting to get damn creepy. You can say that. Do you need any help cleaning this stuff up? No thanks, I think I can manage to do me a favor and round up the others so we can have that meeting. I'll be there as soon as I can wash up. Okay. Oh, Mr. Jordan, it's Mr. Booth alright. Yes, Madame Rosequist. He's fine. His shower was acting up on him. Oh dear, that's not bound well for him at all. I told him to wash out. It's lucky for him he did not perish. Well, all due respect, Madame, I don't think any of us are in any immediate danger right now. Ha! Shows how much you know. Anyway, some asked me to tell anyone that tonight's meeting will be starting soon. Oh yes, I shall go to the travel room now. See you soon, Mr. Jordan. Okay, she's gone. Can I go to her room?
Oh, Mr. Jordan, how can I help you? Simon's okay, just a little chicken up. What happened? I'm sure it'll be honored to tell you the story. I came to let you know that the meeting will be starting soon. Alright, let me just finish some things here and I'll go to the travel room. I'll let you get back to your work, alright. I think something's bad is gonna happen in that trouble room. And it's gonna, I bet you, I bet you, knowing, you know how games can be, somebody will die. And it will be this lady. Let me, ch let me check the room just in case before I talk to Alice. Oh, she's there. Madame Till requests a rather small old woman dressed in a bright pink turban and a black robe. Something about her seems off. Excuse me, Madame Rosequist. I'm afraid I cannot speak right now, Mr. Jardine. I'm trying to focus my energy on communicating with the spirits and cannot break my concentration. Excuse me, Madame Chris. Okay, okay, I cannot talk to her, so... Never mind. So let's go to Mary and tell her the meeting's coming up. I check on Simon, he's alright, but something big wrong in this house. What's wrong? I'm sure he will be happy to tell you himself. I just come to let you know that the meeting will be starting soon. Okay, I'll head over to the travel room in a few minutes. That's all for now, okay. Okay, let me call some of the. Let me call. Let me call. Oh my god, I have to do this again. It's not good. Not Megs. Here we go. Oh shit. Hold up. How to look up zero zero two zero four four six nine four four six nine. Zero nine seven six zero two zero four four six nine. Oh my god, four four six nine zero nine seven six four 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 six nine zero nine seven six four 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 six nine zero nine seven six. Oops, messed up. I messed up. Clear. No. Four four six nine zero nine seven eight. No. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, wow, I got it right. Cool. 7428 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 7428480 
but I cannot do anything. I think I'm pretty much done. I think I have to go back. To, I think I should go to the travel room. Yeah, that's how I wish. That's that's I should go next. <coughs> oh, the next thing I know, the water turned to blood. Ah, oh, man, you're right. Let's start the meeting then, shall we? Now then, it seems clear by the phenomena of experience that there is an obvious something in this house. Alas, old May is having a good time with us, we seem, which seems unlikely. I called a minute before I think that among the five of us, we should come up with a plan to deal with the ghost. I think one of our greatest priorities should be getting into the locked room on the top floor. I agree, it seems to me that exploring that room may yield some more information as to spirits and the reason for haunting this house. But how are we going to get inside? Nobody brought lockpicks and the key is gone. We seem to be out of luck. Yes, we do seem to be at a dead end here at the end there. If I may, you seem to be overlooking a very obvious way of dealing with this situation. Oh, then by all means, enlighten us, Madame Rosquist. I am true, sir, and my subject is communicating with the deceased. Therefore, the obvious thing to do is to establish a line of communication with the spirits, so we may have learn more and any possibility we reach a satisfactory diplomatic conclusion. We are part of an investigator, not the United Nations. I see her point, Simon. If we can somehow tell to the ghosts or ghosts, we might be able to get them to cooperate instead of just working against each other. Fair enough. How do we go about doing it? In this case, there are enough of us to perform a seance. Is this going to be like these old horror films where we had to hold hands and start waiting for knocks on the table? Hollywood had greatly distorted the noble art of the seance. Mr. Jody, I think you will find it quite different to your preconceived no notions. Notions, whatever. Well, if it works, I'm up for it. S S M I. Yeah, I don't see why we shouldn't give it a shot. Alright then, a science it is. Well, what, wh when can we do it? It's a bit complicated since my serve as a medium, it is imperative that I prepare myself the earliest we can perform the seance is tomorrow evening. I am also ask a few favors for each of you, but this can wait until tomorrow, when right I must return to my room and begin preparing. Good night everyone, I shall speak to each of you tomorrow. Everybody bids madam till good night. Well, meeting adjourned, then I'm going to be up for a while longer. How about some music? Anyone will be up hanging up here for a while? I'm afraid I must continue research, so I bet you good night. Good night, Otto. I'll stick around, I'm not tired yet either. Great, how about you, Ben? Sure, that would be great. Cool, I'll go get my stereo. So the she says, Dead by Meow Meow. <laughs> Good lord, that was terrible, Simon. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see you do better, Mr. Witty Comedian. Just watch me. 
Have you heard the one about the guy whose friend has a magic lamp? I don't think so. And that's about the time I decided to become a paranormal investigator. At least you're measuring in something useful to the field. I wish I'd come up with the idea before graduating to national relations. I thought it helps though with you global trotting around on cases. I haven't done much global trotting yet. I mean, I just work in the US and Britain and want to go somewhere really far away, like Japan or something. Me too. England is the only place outside the United States I ever been, so I like to get out and see more. Well, friends, it got incredibly late, and I'm not that curd, so I'm going to get some sleep. It's 3 a.m. already. Wow. Right, guys. Have a good night. We got an internet day ahead of us tomorrow. You had to your room and go to bed. You wake up the next morning after a comfortable, dreamless sleep. The knock on there's a knock on your door. Come in. Good morning, Mr. Jordan. Did you sleep well? Yeah, exactly. I did. Now, how about you? I hope you didn't have any more nightmares. Definitely, I did not. In fact, I sleep rather well considering the circumstances. At any rate, I can't speak with you about tonight's seance. Okay, I'm listening. We are trying to establish contact with a potential hostile spiritual entity. I acquired three things for each participant. Let me guess, a bell, book, and candle. Please, Mr. Jordan, as a parent investigator, I expect you to be more open-minded. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Anyway, what is it you need? First, a personal item of yours, something that carries your aura, that it can be focused and joined with the others, and create a harmonic balance for summoning the spirit. So, it can be something I just picked up? I'm afraid not. It had to be something with some sort of deep personal meaning to you. By the way, you won't need to part with it, I just need you to show me you have something suitable as the sign you will need to have it with you. Alright, I didn't think about that one since I didn't really bring much with me to the house. The second item is a bit more unpleasant. How are we talking here? It needs some of your blood spirit are attracted to human blood, so you see it's something that dates back to Homer's epic poems about venturing to Hades. Oh, is that all? That's not a big deal. I'm not screwing me around blood. Good, Miss Winkin nearly fainted when I told her she just need to find a container to store the blood in. You just need to find a container to store blood in. The final is related to the elements. I have served each of you and I found that you all have different elemental psyche, which is a selection indication for our are working together. I need each person to bring a sample of the the, particu the the peculiar element. Your is fire, Mr. Jordan. That's it. You'll be a you'll be you'll be in the chat room if you haven't okay. So I need items, so I'm gonna call per Percy because he has the Items so four four six nine zero nine seven six four 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 six nine zero nine seven six four 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 six nine four 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 six nine four six zero nine Yeah I uh Four 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 six nine zero nine seven six. Okay, zero zero oh four 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 four. No no no. Whoops. I really am bad with numbers. I can't remember numbers. Phone numbers is really hard for me. Zero two four 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 six nine zero nine seven six. Oh my god. 
Okay. Okay. Four, 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 six, nine. Okay, let me bring my phone. I cannot do it like this. This is really hard for me because I cannot remember any phone. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, now I can freaking do this easily without any issue. Alright. Without any issue. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Because he have he has um Ben Jordan stuff, so Professor, I need you for I need you to do me a favor. Yes? Would you know I left some of our belongings in your care? <coughs> Indeed. I'll put them in a safe storage place for you until you return. Actually I wonder if you were able to bring me something. See, I don't want to leave the house until the case is solved, and... I understand, a good detective does not leave the area unless absolutely necessary. Now, what is it you wanted? I left a ring in the suitcase. Do you think you can bring it over here for me? Wait a minute, I'll see if I can find it. Ah, oh, yes, it's a gold ring with a red stone. Ah, oh, yes, that one. What do you need it by tonight? Very well, I shall take you to you as soon as I can. Listen for my knocking at the door. Will do, thank you. Well, that's all we want to talk about. Okay, so we need fire. So, element of fire. Got personal items, but I need something a container for blood. I don't have a container for blood. Oh, I got the scissors. I can cut myself with the scissors. You poke yourself with the scissors, but you had nothing but to put your blood on it. Oh yeah, I need something to put my blood on it. Do you get the old seance top for Madame Rosequist? Ah, oh, don't remember about that. She scared me half to death with all that. And when she said I needed to give her some of my blood, I almost fainted. And not so much the blood part, just the fact that she asked me for it. She's like some old vampire or something. Nah, I've seen vampires. Nothing compared to them. So what element did you get? Water, so I like really consider the circumstances. What circumstances are those? Well it seems my toilet is setting up. Don't tell me the water turned to blood. No no nothing like that, it just won't flush. I called Mr. Biggs about it to see if he can get a plumber over here, but I haven't heard back from him yet. Did it did this start recently? I don't know. This morning was the first time I tried using it. Mr. Seth said nobody has stayed in my room over fifty years. It's almost like he drew the lack of use of it. You could have thought he planned ahead. <laughs> Last night was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a great time. It really made me feel like I was back home with my friends. I really got met you and Simon. I think the three of us have a lot in common. Well, I'll see you later. Let me get to the bathroom. Let's check her bathroom. You say you uh, were acting out. Would you mind if I took a look of, at it? <coughs> Excuse me. I guess not. Okay, so let's look at the bathroom. 
Alice Todd looks like what she was recently. You find yourself getting a mental image of her in the tub, but quickly think something else. Todd feels cold. Leave the, leave the lights on. It won't be very productive looking around in the dark. If you want to wash your hand, use your own sink. Just like the one in your room. Don't go touching other people's mirror. Okay, let's look around. Alice's toilet, the source of the trouble, according to her. You decide to take a look at the toilet. The potato is cool to touch. You remove the toilet top in order to get a good look inside the tank. The toilet mechanism attached to the flush hand allows the water to drain out of the toilet. The toilet tank is full of water. You particularly don't feel like sticking your hand in toilet water. You pull the mechanism in, but the stopper is jammed. Nothing to work, nothing to work. Okay, so I can't do anything. So I'll be right back. I have to come back here later. Let's see, Simon. Hey, Ben, what's up? Can we talk, Simon? Of course, Ben. I. I'm taking Madame Red's request, King, to talk to you about the seance tonight. Then she did. She gave me the three requirements speech as well. The first two aren't a problem, but I had no idea what I'm going to do for my element. W which one did she say you were? Air. You wouldn't happen to have a portable air conditioner on you, would you? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I wonder who got water, as they ought to do is go to the sink and fill a cup. Well, it wasn't me. I got fire. Still, burning burning thing is more doable than air. I'm sure you'll be fine. I really enjoyed myself last night. I'm glad we hang out. Me too. Sometimes you don't realize how much you need a bit of re relaxation to take your mind off the case. You and Linus are cool people. I'd like to keep in touch with you after this case is over. That'd be great. Who knows? Maybe we can work together in the future. Take it easy, Simon. Simon, would you mind if I... Look around in your bathroom. I'd like to see if I find any clues. Sure, Ben. I guess that would be fine. Oh, it still has the blood on it. No, the... The salmon shower is still covered with blood. The metal powder can't... Yeah, the bathroom sink. It's just standard. The toilet paper. Get your own if you're that desperate for toilet paper. You have your own room. You have your own room. At the scene of the shower, you hesitate to test what comes out of the sink. You decide to see if there's any interest in the cabinet. Inside, you see a jar industrial toilet strength cleaner. Figuring it out may be coming handy. You take it with you. No, the my apartment over here. Mm. Check the stall. You really had no interest in getting too close to the blood stained shower. Okay, so I got a I got a toilet cleaner, a jar of toilet cleaner. Can I touch it? It does said not inhale fumes. You best leave the jar closed for now. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm out of here. So far I'm 40, so I'm almost... I'm doing a little bit of progress. Okay, she's not in here. Oh, he's not in here either. Okay. So I got a toilet cleaner. So I think I might to go to Alice's room to do it. Maybe that's the case. Doesn't seem to work. You've done the entire job of toilet cleaner in the tank and hope it to clear the grime. At what seems like here, the grime finally dissolves. You keep the now empty jar. Nice. Now that you clear the grime, you have no problem pulling the stopper out. You take the silver key. Before leaving, you replace everything it was. Well, I fixed your toilet, Alice. Oh, thanks, man. I find I really appreciate it. What kind of key is this? It's a tiny, slightly damp silver key. Okay, I got it. You unscrew the jar and put it back on. Jeez, that was fun. Upon using the scissors, you cut your index finger, and now I have blood. Zana contained quite a bit of your blood. Let's show it to Alice. You don't think that Alpha will be appreciated? Yeah, she wouldn't. Okay, so I had the key, so that might be the key for the basement. So let me get out of here. Sometimes it's weird with the controls. Sometimes I want to right click the controls and left click. And I can right click or left click. Wait. Yeah, right click. And for some reason, it doesn't change the, the, the cursor. Anyway. See, now it's doing it now. But there are times that it freezes. And I don't know why. Oh, that's him. That's Jones. Hello, Mr. Jordan. I brought your ring as requested. Wow, that was fast. Thanks a lot, Professor. My pleasure. Now, if you excuse me, I'm afraid I cannot stay. I have some work to do. Okay, see you later. Okay, so we had the grandpa's ring. Your grandfather's ring that he gave you shortly before he died. Ah. Uh, Okay, let me get that key, so it must be for this. You bend over and try the key in the trapdoor lock. At first, you didn't think it's going to work, but soon the lock clicks open. Oh my god, this is getting, we're getting deeper, guys. You hold your breath as you descend into the room below. Ooh, creepy as fuck. Well, a little light there is in here comes in through that window. A long cat sits in the dark against the back the back wall. You can't reach the window from here. You reach the cabinet and find a large wax candle and a book of matches. Get that for some emergency candle for power outrage. You feel the same as you did yesterday. There's nothing else. Oh, I got the candles. I mean, I got the fire. You shake the box and hear several matches rotting inside. Use the match you used to light the candle. The candle is burning now. Oh shit, I do hurry up, do I?
I got everything, so time to go upstairs. You get that answer question, Madam Quinn. Yes, I do. Would you like to know? So tell me about yourself. As uh, we introduce ourselves, I'm a true seer, blessed with a gift of the sight. <laughs> okay, what do you do for fun? I mean, have you got hobbies or anything? Well, I enjoy playing courage on weekends with my friends. What exactly is the sight? Simply put, the ability to see beyond the mundane and look into far regions of reality. I can detect things nobody else can. I can sense your aura and determine your fate. No offense, but that sounds kind of spooky. Not at all, my dear. Although knowing the future can sometimes be a curse as much as a blessing. So can you predict what will happen to us in the house? Yeah, but I not to affect the outcome by saying anything. I really would have meant to happen well. If so, if you, if any of us die, you make it seem clue by putting it that way. I skipped that by accident. Sorry about that. Would do me a favor. If you see me getting my head shot up or anything, let me know so I can at least be prepared. So what is it you said you needed me to get for the science? Either with deep personal meaning to you, some of your blood, and something related to the element of fire. Alright, I'll just get on that. What do you think of the other investigators? Miss King had chosen Bay White, so we all complement each other very well. If you'd like to know what I think of each person, I'll be glad to inform you. What do you think of Alice? She's a lovely girl, very in tune with herself. Her element is water, which is the direct complement to yours. Complementary elements are ideal partners, you know. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship right now. I had a best being with a girl recently, and... Oh yeah, I had a tip of tea saw in your aura when I first saw you. I sure you did. How about Simon? Any thoughts on him? Simon very noble and brave, but I feel he may be too reckless. He does not possess the will to evaluate the situation logically. I'm concerned about this attitude will lead him will lead to tragedy. Had you had any visions of him dying? Not specifically, but when he appears in my vision, I see a black void. What could that mean? I don't know, but it's not a good omen. What's your opinion on Otto? Otto is a, tra a man shrouded in mystery. It's in tragedy in him. He can see that something in his past haunts him. However, it's not the type of open up to say what he feels. Instead, of he prefers to stick with facts and technological details. To tell you the truth, I rather feel a sense of pity for dear Otto. Be careful you're wondering, this house is possibly pulsing with energy. Okay, let me show her the thing that I got. Here you are, Madame Ruska, a jar full of some of blood. Excellent, thank you Mr. Jordan. On my ring. Look, Madam Ruska, I got a personal item. It's my ring that was given to me by my grandfather before he died. Yes, that will work perfectly. Good job. The candle. I have this candle. Yes, that will work brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Wonderful, you have fulfilled all the three requirements. And now, even draws near, I shall summon the others and we can have our seance. 
Now that we are gathered, here is here is to summon the spirit dwelling in this house. Each of you have provided your element, an example of blood. Now I ask each of you to present your personal item and explain its significance, so that we chew auto. My personal item is a pen given to me by my late wife, Anna. She passed away not long ago, and that's all I have left to remember her. I carry it with me everywhere I go. I bought a book of ghosts. I first read it I was 12 years old, and it got me started on my career path. I got the first CD I ever bought for my own money. It means a lot to me because it was a symbol that I finally made it on my own and finally it was financially independent. Oh, the ring? Oh, the show the ring. Well, this ring belonged to my grandfather before he passed away. He was the only one in my family who ever supported my love for paranormal, so that why it means so much to me. Wonderful. Now that anyone has presented their items, we can begin the seance. I ask you all to focus on the energy presented present in this ha present in this house. Spirits of Berkeley Square, we are summoning you to this room. If you are with us, make your presence known. Nothing seems to be happening. Silent, Mr. Booth. You must not break your concentration on the seance will fail. Or the seance will fail. <clears throat> Again, a call of spirits inhabiting the house. We wish to speak with you. Sadly, you notice the room temperature drop slightly ah uh, yes i can feel the spiritual presence someone is here with us oh spirit we request an audience the room definitely is getting very cold now spirit at number 50 Piggly square make your presence known to us holy oh spirit tell us who you are and why you hunt this house the ghost boy is hard to understand, sounds like it blows in and out with the wind. Many years ago, I made the foolish mistake of staying in this house for the night. I was attacked by the nameless horror and fell to my death from the top of the floor window. I warn you all, I'm not the only ghost in this house. Beware the nameless horror, the doom of myself and the other were fortunate soul who dwelt here. Tell us, Spirit, how many others are there? There are four others, two of them in this room. However, they do not wish to speak to you. What did the water in my shower turn to blood? The whore is not happy with your presence here. We have been avoiding it, but the longer you stay, the angrier it will become. Beware, save yourself. Do not end as I did. For it's the most terrible fate. The other thing I had done are best to protect you far from the horror, but we are weak against what it becomes enraged. So why did the horror suddenly become active again after all these years? The horror sometimes lays dormant for years at a time. It always done so and always will. I cannot stay here any longer. I have given you all fair warning. Do not remain here any longer or face the wrath of the horror. Go in peace, spirit. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I nearly pissed my pants just then. Fascinating. We are very fortunate to have experienced this phenomenon. The poor sailor turned to hunt his health for all these years? Mr. Demigga told me the story about him. Had he gone now, Madame Rosequist? Madame Rosequist? You know Madame Rosequist has a glassy look in her eyes. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. What's not good? It knows we are here. It knows we have spoken to the spirit. Uh-oh. 
It? You mean the horror? It's approaching, oh god, help us, it draws near! Whoa! What the hell is going on? Let's get the hell out of here! Later that evening... Well, that was something. I sure hope Rancris is okay. Well, how is she? She'll be fine. I had to move her to my room for now. She must rest. But where do we go from here? We know that we definitely at least one friendly ghost and one hostile ghost in the house. Well, that we made that assumption, we move on to the next step, which is riding the house of the hostile entity. You mean like an ex exorcism? Well, sort of. We'll be trying to expel the horror, yes, but we won't need priest. Priestess. Then how do we do it, Mr. Booth? Aw, oh, you kinda got me there. I never done it before. Only heard them tell them more scientific methods of exorcisms. If future is what we need, I'm prepared to dedicate all my time to the matter. Alright then, you can find out how to get rid of the horror. I'll see if I can't find some way into the locked room. <clears throat> if you want, I can help you with the research, Otto. Yes, I appreciate the help. Thank you, Miss Wick Wilkins. Uh, I guess I'll figure something out. Okay then, let's get to it. So what am I supposed to do? Everyone else seems to know exactly what's going on, but I'm clueless. Why well, I even here, damn it? Well, I'm kidding, I'm not a paranormal investigator, I'm just some college kid who wants to see the world. Unlucky I haven't been killed yet on these cases, talk about dumb luck. Ben Jordan. What? Who said that? If that is what you seek, I'll be happy to provide. Uh oh. Oh man, what a nightmare. That case really started to get to me. You quickly get dressed and prepare to take care of the most important thing in the business on the morning. Oh god, looks like someone left you a little note. Don't touch it, it's evidence. Let me see, it says, get out. Wash your hands. So it says, get out. Wow. Well, look who's woken up. It's Ben Jordan. Good morning, sunshine. Uh, are you okay, Zaman? You seem a bit upset. Me, I said no, not at all. I just a bit confused the fact that this bloody door here seems to have shut out of nowhere. Yeah, I know. It appeared out of nowhere, that door. So I see. Have you opened it yet? No, not yet. I suggest that we wait. She doesn't think it would be a good idea to go inside, but I'm getting a bit impatient. Well, it wouldn't be a good idea to do anything rash. Rash, let me ask you something. Have you been downstairs today, Ben? No, I just got up a couple of minutes ago. Why? Well, i do you a favor let you know the front door is locked. Locked? Yes, locked, as in we're trapped here like bloody rats in some psychopath ghost who is sitting here jollies by fucking with our minds. 
Calm down, Simon. The last thing we need is one of us lose our heads. Oh yeah, great choice of words there, Ben. Okay, so there's a door here. It's a door that wasn't there before. Weird. Oh, hi, Ben. Hey there, Alice. You got a minute? Alice, I'm a little concerned about Simon. What's wrong? Well, I just saw him. He seemed rather upset. He didn't seem like him himself. I mean, so far he's been pretty calm and collected. Maybe he's just showing his true colors. You think so? No, but it's a possibility. I'm really starting to get sick of people saying that one thing that turned out to be something else. Well, you could try to talk to him and see what's wrong. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Have you seen the new door outside? Yeah, I was the first to notice it this morning. Then Simon came along and wanted to look inside, but I suggested to wait until A will wake up so we can we could decide what to do. Hmm. Have you heard anything about Madame Tilly? No, I haven't checked on her today. As far as I know, she's sleeping in Otto's room. I hope she's okay. That sound really seemed to be take a lot out of her. You haven't by chance gotten any stray messages on your bathroom remember, have you? No, why do you ask? I woke up this morning and found the words get out written on my mirror and rest sustenance. What? Yeah, it was exactly a welcome sight. My god, this is getting scarier by the minute. That's all for now. Okay. Can I go to her bathroom? Alright. Okay, let's go check on... Um, Madame. Oh, go to her room, though. Hey Jenna, how can I help you? Madame Tail is sleeping peacefully on Otto's bed. It won't be a good idea to stir her right now. Okay. Hey Otto, can we talk? Yeah. So how's the research going? Quite well, so far I managed to get a lead on the techniques Simon referred to last night. It should be only a matter of time before I find something concrete. That's good news. <laughs> Is Madame Tilly alright? As you can see, she's been sleeping for over 18 hours now. The sound did not agree with her at all, however... She's hoping to be up and walking again soon. I skipped that. It's because I don't. It's like something. It's like, it's just that my mouse is sensitive and it's and I don't mean to touch it. Did you see the mysterious door in the hall? Which one? The one that didn't used to be there. No, I'm afraid I haven't left my room today. You saw a new door had just. You said a new door had appeared. Yeah, between me and Simon's room. Very curious. This morning I found the words get out written on my bath on my bathroom mirror. Do you see who or what wrote it? No, I didn't. It was just there. Very strange. Not only that, but the front door is locked. I got a pleasant feeling that the nameless whore is going to express his displeasure at our at our being here more frequently. However, if the whore wants us to get out, why would luck our only means our escape? I think the matter of my mirror may have been written by one of the friendly spirits. It is a possibility. That's all. Very well. 
Okay, I think I have to call. Let me call the 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 other. Let me call the 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 old man and the other one. So let's get the phone and ring. Okay, so zero two zero four four six nine zero nine seven six. Well enough, I guess listen. Oh really? Okay, might as well let's call um Migs then. That it's been a while I haven't talked to that guy. Oops. I marked the wrong number. Damn it. Damn, I forgot to put the eight. It's really hard doing this. There we go. That's odd. Migs isn't answering. Okay. The door is locked. It's the front door. Can I go down here? Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go up and talk to Simon because he's acting strange. Oh, Simon's not here. Oh, it's probably upstairs, probably. This is kind of creepy, him standing there. Any luck with the door? Not yet, I'm not getting up. On Simon? About that door that just appeared, what about it? What do you think? I think it's the door of whatever haunts this house. I also think it's pretty damn scary. Do you by chance have any strange match in your room today? No, I can't say I did. Why? Someone or someone will get out of my bathroom wind wind mirror mirror not window. Well that's not surprising given the phenomenon we experienced. At least you didn't get a bloody shower. Simon, are you okay? You seem really upset earlier, you know if there's anything wrong you can tell me. Oh yes, never mind that. I apologize for how I acted. I shouldn't have been less aggressive towards you. Um, okay. Just that, in the few years I've been a ghost hunter, I never experienced anything like this. I guess I just let it get to me. Anyway, we need to do something about that door that just popped up open. Yeah, I agree. yes I agree. I think we should just open the door and see what's there inside. Hey, that's what I wanted to hear. That hey, now nah, that's what I wanted to hear. 
Let's go have a look then, shall we? Right then, let's see what this new door is hiding. Ready when you are. Simon opened the door and you both step inside. Bloody hell, it's silly dog in here. I can't even tell how big the room is. Doesn't look too big, I think. I see a wall just a few feet uh, up ahead. Um, Simon? Simon, wait. What? Don't wander out too far. I don't trust this room. Something about it just doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I'll give you a shot when I reach the other side at the end of the room. Simon, no! Simon? Shit. Oh my god, this is scary. Use the mattress, use the mattress, Ben Jordan, use the mattress. You chick. Use the mattress, Jordan, use the mattress. Oh, it's time I have to walk. Let me hold my computer. Let me put my computer on my desk. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm kind of scared. I hope it doesn't have a freaking jump scare because I will freaking not be happy. He's gone. Simon? Where the hell could he be? He's gone. <gasps> the door is gone. I don't believe this. Now the door is gone. What's going on here? This is kind of scary, to be honest. This is probably the most scariest one. That door wasn't there before, was it? Upon entering the room, you are taken in a, a bag by his size. My god, this room is bigger than the entire house. How is that even possible? Whoa. This is creepy as fuck. This girl goes back into the dark room, you think. Another door, but in this place, you can't be sure where it leads. Oh my god, the sound. Creepy as fuck. Oh, wow. There's three doors. Wait, there's a catch. Let me. Okay, first of all, let me save. I need to save. Because I don't know what, what what will happen. So, let me see. What door should I try? Um, should I try. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this one. You take a deep breath, prepare to go through the door. Oh my god, this is creepy. Okay, there's nothing here, so let's go back. Oh, I was brought back. Okay. Okay, so it brought me back. Weird. Why is it bringing me back? Nothing. Oh wow, it's taking me backwards? Weird. Okay. That's weird. Ben! Alice, something terrible has happened. What is it? Simon disappeared. What do you mean he disappeared? I was looking around inside the new door and we went ahead of me. And when I went to look for him, he vanished. Something's not right in there. Doors and room keep shifting around. So what do we do now? Let's go tell Otto about the situation. Okay, good plan. 
So he just vanished in, into thin air? Yeah, just like that. This is very peculiar. What if you describe as accurate the space inside the series of room you were in is particularly larger than the area of this house? I read about this phenomenon once. A man disappeared as well. The house seemed to be swallowed him into a void. You saying Simon is most likely dead? Unfortunately, the man who disappeared was never seen again. I'm afraid Simon may be indeed be dead. Oh no. God damn it. All we supposed to do was investigate hunting and end up killing Simon and putting my damn records into a coma? Now, Mr. Jordan, please calm down. How can I possibly calm down? Every time I start getting attached to someone, they die. It's already happened twice and now again with Simon. I'm getting sick of this. I'm ready to pack up and just get the hell out of here. Mr. Jordan, that's not the way to handle things. I understand your pain. I recently lost my wife and two children in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't, do not be. We lost that we care about. Life is cruel that way. So, however, when tragedy to occur, we cannot allow ourselves to be overcome with grief. It is necessary to carry on no matter what happens. You're right, Otto. I'm sorry I had that outburst. Now, we may have lost Simon, but we still have the job to do. Just before you arrive, I found a link on the side describing how to establish contact with the spirit and drive it away. Okay, what do we have to do? First, we need to get all the point where the spiritual activity is more strong. The room at the top floor? Precisely. Okay, then what? We must somehow get the spirit attention, then channel its energy to create a portal to send it to the spirit nether realm, nether, nether world. Wow, nether realm, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Whoa, this sounds pretty complicated. Don't worry about it, Mr. Jo Mr. Jordan. This is my field, however. I will need Alice's training as a my parapsychologist to assist me. Of course, Otto. Anything I can do, let me know. Miss Wilkins, you and I must prepare everything for the summoning and draw away the spirit. Mr. Jordan, I put you in charge of finding a way into the room. Alright, I see. I'll see what I can do. Very well, Miss Wilkins, and I will be here. Let us know when you have found a way into the room. Good luck, guys. And to you as well. See you soon, Ben. So, this is what, okay, first of all, the reason that he's in pain, because in the last case, Mary died. And for me, it kind of doesn't make any sense, because first of all, buddy, you knew Mary only for two days. For two days in the third game. I mean, I, I get it, they had a conversation when she was in jail, but still, um... I don't think that they had that plenty of time to get to know each other in order for him to be enraged. So, I don't know. For me, it doesn't make any sense why he's in pain about Mary. Because you barely even knew her You barely even knew her that much. You only knew her for two days and then she got killed. But anyway, let me carry on in the game. So, we have to find a way to, um, to look to find a way that... So we have to find a way to find... You don't want to go looking around there by yourself. So we have to find something to unlock that door. So basically... So we have to find something that's up... that To open that top floor key. Which I don't know what to do because to be honest, I do not know. We're 79 so we're almost done with this game. What about the bell? Can we burn the bell? Using on yourself when you're any product. Wait, let me 
walk around. Let me walk away from this. Let's see if I can use this in here. That doesn't seem to work. Wait, will I combine this? Nope. Nope, it will not. So basically, it can't do anything. So I can't do anything here, so we have to go look around for the other rooms. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's check the travel room. I think we can use the matches on the fireplace, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. For some reason, I can't. Oh god, let me touch the fire. Nothing. So I might as well go here. Okay, so nothing I can do here. Might as well check the lobby. Or the painting, whatever. Nope. Okay. Mm. So let's check the lobby then. Excuse me. Because I can't open the door, it's locked. I already checked the books. I don't need to check the books. I'm clicking so hard to know what. Okay, no, because we found a key last time. What about the chat door? What about the chat door? I can't see him reach the window. Hmm. I can't do anything. Hmm. Okay. Nothing here. Okay, let's talk to them then. Is Jordan back so soon? Hey, Ben. Ask questions. Otto, Alec, can we talk for a minute? Of course. What do you want to know? Exactly how are we going to get the ghost out of the house? It's more than just getting it out of the house. We'll be sending it to another dimension. Oh, right. According to what we've been reading, opening up a portal to the so-called dimension of death is just a matter of turning the spirit's energy against it. Okay? You mean just yelling at it to go into the light? Something like that, only not as diplomatic. I sure hope this works. It must. Is my dentally getting any better? She has not done much for the past couple of hours. I'm starting to get a little worried about her, actually. Don't worry too much. Once we expel the spirit, she'll be fine. Her hypersensitivity seems to be preventing her from making a recovery right now, since the horror is sending out negative energy. Uh, 
I can't help but somehow feel responsible for what happened to Simon. Oh, Ben, don't blame yourself. There was nothing you could have done. I could have stopped him from going ahead by himself. Miss Wick and his wife, Simon was a very strong willed person. If he wanted to go ahead alone, you would have not been able to hold him back. Please do not feel responsible. It is no way your fault. Thanks, guys. I guess you're right. I'll let you two get back to the research. Bye, Ben. Until later, Mr. Ben. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's call let's call Parsi because I think he might help us a bit about this. So here we go. Oh, oh shit, I mispronounced the f Why I do miss- Why I always miss that? What do you mean? I got it right! Oh my god, this game can be- Annoying. Oh, because I marked the one with the one last digits. What are you? Un Oh, yeah, I... Okay. Mr. Jones, it's Ben Jordan. Oh, come on! So what the hell should I do? So, I cannot talk to him. Not there. Might as well go to my room, I guess? Hello? Mr. Jordan, it's Principal Jones. I've done the research you requested. Oh yeah? That's great. What do you find out? Well, most of what I discovered was pretty well-known information, which I'm sure you're already aware of. However, there's one particular piece of information you may be interested in. I'm listening. It seems that several years ago, some of the windows in the house were painted over to prevent people on the street from seeing inside. Oh, I thought it was just grime. It's more than just that. However, in certain rooms, the windows aren't really windows at all. It's easy to say. The panels are just facades. So what are they really? That's the interesting part. They're just pieces of cardboard. Cardboard? That's ridiculous. How that? How does it keep that keep the rain out? I hardly believe it myself, but apparently it's the only the windows that don't get too much, too much rain. I don't know if this will benefit you in any way, but I thought you ought to know. No, no, no. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thanks, Professor. You're quite welcome. Goodbye, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> the window. You get the window, quick shovel, and are slightly supplied to find... To find it flies up the frame and flows slightly gently down to the street below. <laughs> Jumping out the window probably isn't a great idea. It's a long drop. 
It's dark outside, but then the open window you see the building across the way and a small ledge outside. Let's talk to them about the window. Well, come on! They said that the window got cardboard! Okay, so let's go to the one from downstairs, because that one has a window. Or this one? No... What do you mean? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Wait, what the, I got the cardboard? No. What should I do then? Should I call him back? I think I have to call him back, do I? Alright, let's call him back. Let's call him back. Okay, here we go. Ah, when... Too late. Okay. Alright, we don't know what to do guys. This is this is strange. Okay. So pretty much done here. So I might as well go up. So this is the only way I can do. That painting is so creepy. There's something in here uh, under the thing. Anything? Nothing here either. Nope, nothing. Okay. Do I should call w Migs, I think? I think that's what it is, I think. I think that's what I need to do, right? Okay, let me call Migs since that's the only thing I have, the only choice I have. So it's.
There we go. He's not responding, so that's a no-show. So, I think I have to do something in the window. But, I don't know. I must be crazy for doing this. You take a deep breath, then climb out the wind sail onto the ledge. Whoa! The hat is trying to show its age. Somehow it shouldn't get that fixed. A drain pipe runs down the wall. It must be a drain water from the roof. Hmm. The section pipe looks loose. Oh, I got a pipe. Interesting. Okay, let's look around, shall we? Hello, Ben Jordan. Walk. Nothing? Oh, we're in the ledge. Duh. Back in the window, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let Use the pipe. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought I was gonna freaking um. <sighs> Do I have to break the mirror? I guess. <laughs> Uh, I guess not. Nope. Let's talk to them then. Oh. Use the pipe. Okay, will this work? Guess not. <laughs> Trial and error. No, with this, with this, no way. There's no way the the match isn't just gonna work. Now, see, told ya. A pipe. What do we need a pipe for? Oh yeah, the mirror, the mirror. Maybe it's for that. Maybe. Uh, please tell. Please let me be right. Please let me be right. Come on. Oh come on, Ben Jordan. There's no. You cannot destroy a mirror. Oh god, this is ridiculous. It's getting frustrating a little bit. A wall, anything? Bookshelf, anything? Box? Nope. So I can't do nothing here. Wait. Wait, can I? Hold up, let me go back. Would this be it? Nope. 
Uh, will this be it? Nope. And no. Okay. So that's not it. Okay, I think hit the bell. Oh wait. The padlock? Alright, lock. You may not give in the lock pixel key, but let's see how you do against a pissed off paranormal investigator. You get it all your strength and prepare to hit the lock as hard as you can. You're slightly surprised that the padlock breaks off and the door cracks open. Oh my god. There's some arm markings in the wall. It looks like scratch marks with a dry, dark red sunscreen on them. There's a rope which you deduct and connect it to the bell outside. Looking at the window, you shudder to think that the man jump, jumped up out of it has only been impaled by the spikes below. You, running your fingers across the mall, you realize that they were made by human fingers. You better not get near the window if you can avoid it. The rope? You get the rough few quick tugs. Mm -mm. Okay, let's talk to the others because I can't do anything. Okay, now now we got this open. We can talk to the others. Okay, I think we're almost done by the game. It's 96, so that means that it's going to be over soon, guys. And so far, it's been fun. It's not been as good as the third one. The third one was interesting because it had a, a cool puzzle. It was okay. This one's okay. Well, I did it. I managed to get the door to the horror room open. Really? That's great. How do you manage it? Amazing how far a little rage and a mental metal pipe can take you. Let us all go upstairs and see what we can do about this ghost. Well, here we go. 101. It feels strange in here. Almost like there's the air was charged with electricity. Yes, I feel it too. We're definitely not alone here. So how should we get the attention of the horror? That's what we were searching, Otto and I found two ancient texts, one to summon the spirit and the other to open a gateway to the dimension of death. The summoning must be performed by a female and the portal by a male. That's interesting. The crazy ancient knew this stuff, didn't they? Indeed. Whatever you ready, Miss Wilkins. Alice prepared herself, then began chanting a verse in Latin. Tempus Atenum Motus Motusuf Etikia Rinsin Espiritu Evocta. Nothing seems to be happening. Well, I'm kind of relieved actually. I was worried some foreign skeleton with an apron and a machete was going to materialize and kill us all. Also, he was first seen. I oh, know, I don't think that's a reference to the second case. Suddenly, you heard footsteps coming up the stairs. Listen, someone is coming. Get ready. Who knows who might come through that door? Oh, Madame Request, you're feeling better. Um, Alice, I don't know about you, but right now, the last word I use to describe her is better. <laughs> Silence, mortals. Oh my god, I warned you, but still, you interfere of staying in my house. Now that I have possessed the body of this human, I can destroy you all. That's what you had done when you first arrived. Otto, quick, open the portal. Curis paras is silence. Keep it up, Otto. I, I can handle this. Wait. Out of my way, mortal. Alice! Cetrimus Subsius. 
You may have opened a portal, but we shall see how long it lasts after I kill you. Oh, Ben Jordan, use the, the freaking pipe. You try and lift the pipe to hit Madame with it, but find you can't move your arms. I won't try that if I were you. What the fuck should I do? Fire? Oh, the bell! The bell! You talk frantically on the rope. Oh my god! Go! Ah, my ears! That cursed bell! Don't read that bell again, Moro. I shall have no choice but destroy you. Touch the bell again. Oh, the pipe? You prepare to deliver a small blow. Madame Till Miss Sunshine with the pipe. Yes! Mr. Jordan, you did it! You sent the horde through the portal! Yeah, but we're not out of the woods yet. Check and see if Madame Till's okay. I have to find out if Alice is still alive. I'll meet you downstairs. Alice, you're okay, but how? Simon, you're alive! I will appear so, yes. I don't understand. What happened? Well, after we got separated inside a quick series of rooms, I got stuck in a huge room without doors for some time. And I all had but given up and figured I was going to start to dive in there, where all of a sudden, I found myself outside the house. Just that I happened to be flying out, out of the window, Lucky for that, I looked up and saw her flying towards me, and at which point my reflex kicked in and I caught her. That's amazing. Yeah, but if the spirit had taught me everything, it's that amazing thing that was to be expected while dealing with the paranormal. So did you get rid of the horror? Yes, but I'll tell you guys all about it later. Right now, all I want to do is to get out of this house. Amen to that. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Yeah, the past few days have definitely been out of the ordinary. I assume Mr. Wigan was pleased that you rid the house of the ghost. Oh yeah, he was pretty happy about it. He was pretty happy about all of us surviving, especially after I told him about all the ghost calls we had. So, have you got any plans for you be doing next? I don't know. I talked to Simon, Alice, and the three of us came to the conclusion that we like joining up and solve cases together sometime. I tend to take them on the offer rather than later. I see. Well done, Mr. Jordan. I believe congratulations are in order to another case solved. And I, of course, wish you luck on any future you undertake. Thanks for the hospitality and all your help, Professor. I'll be in touch. That's fine, Mr. Jordan. You certainly will be. Okay, guys, that was case four. And like I said earlier, it's okay. The story is like, uh, you know, typical, you're stuck in the house with people. So, uh, to be honest, it's just good characters, but I think this one is probably being my least favorite. The, like, 
for now in the ranking of my favorite case, I think this one's in the lowest. Um, my favorite was three because three has some good mechanics in the puzzle. The first one really was my second place goes to the first one because the first one was really unique, and the second one as well. But I think the second one go. I think the third one's gonna be in third place, and the second one in second place. So far, my favorite one is th the third case because it has something interesting, and I like the cold mechanic where you have to write it in the paper, and I really like that. But anyway, guys, this is was Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator Case Four: The Horror of Number Fifty. Bye. Hey guys, it's me in editing, and um, uh, I'm here to tell you a fun fact. You know the street in the game that's called Fifty Berkeley Square, Berkeley Square, Berkeley Square. So I thought that that was fictional, but I uh, me, you know, I decided to look for um for for a thumbnail for this video, which I did, but little did I know that the place does exist in real life. The place does exist, and I'm going to show you the picture here. It's the same door, the same freaking door as the game. Here's another picture here. It's exactly the same door. The exact same door. And according, and according to this, on the Wikipedia, this place is haunted because a woman commits suicide in that place. So a, wo a young woman commits suicide in there. So, basically, wow, so this was based, so this game was based on that place. Hmm. So, yeah, that was, I'm shocked. I didn't know that was real. I, didn't, I thought that was fictional, but... It was real. But anyway, that's it, everybody. Goodbye.